Hi guys, welcome back to Circle Time. Today we're going to read a very silly story because I love silly things. And it's called Norman, the slug with the silly shell. And the author of this book is Sue Hendra. She's also the illustrator. She made the pictures too. So let's see what happens with Norman. <clears throat> The slug with the silly shell. That's Norman right there. He's a little slug. Look, you see all the snails over here? They're having a really great time. Norman the slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. They are pretty cool, aren't they? Look at all those colors of their shells. There's orange, pink, some blue in there, a little green. And they're having a really good time making their pyramid. Hmm. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Look, he was gonna try to play with them. So he jumped in. Whee! Uh-oh. Crash! Oh no, he knocked down their pyramid. Oh dear. Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he skulked off into the moonlight. Oh, look at poor Norman. He's so sad. And the other snails, they were very upset that he ruined their pyramid. Oh, what's poor Norman gonna do? If I only had a shell of my own, he sighed. Looking at his reflection. Do you see his reflection? There's Norman. There's his reflection. Look, there's the reflection of the moon too. Oh. And that's when he had an idea. Oh. Mm. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. Where's he going to get a shell from? Hmm. Uh-oh. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. The first one was too bouncy. Look, it's a tennis ball. He's bouncing all around. Uh-oh, and one was too noisy. Oh boy, you can't have an alarm clock that's so loud. Ah, uh, and one was already taken. Who lives in this apple? A little worm. Norman needed time to think. So he's going to think, but guys, look. Look over there. What's in that box? Do you see something in the box? It's round. Oh! Ta-da! A shell! It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. Oh. He could join the snails at last. <gasps> Yay! Norman loved being a snail. And the snails loved Norman's silly show. Look, he gets to play with them and make pyramids now. They're all having such a good time. <gasps> but the fun didn't last for long. Oh no, who's coming? Big bird, oh no. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. <gasps> Look out, bird, cried the snails in panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as dinner. Or supper, it's another way to say dinner. <gasps> oh no. Oh, are they gonna get away in time? Uh-oh. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Oh. Norma was being carried up, up, and away. Higher and higher into the sky. Oh. What could he do? Oh no. What's going to happen to Norman, you guys? Ah. Uh, Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime. Lots and lots of it. Oh, 
Slugs are good at making slime. Snails, too. With a slither and a slother and a slip and a slide, Norman was free. Oh, but he was falling. Oh, faster and faster. <gasps> faster until... Oh, boy. What's going to happen to Norman? Oh. Plunk! Norman! Norman! Are you okay? Asked the snails. Wow, said Norman. That was great! I love flying! Oh. If only I had wings! Look where the donut ended up. It's like a hat for that one snail. And where is Norman? What's he on? Do you know what that is? This is a clothesline. Not everybody dries their clothes in a dryer. Some people dry it outside in the sunshine on a clothesline. Look, there's a tank top and a green sock and a pair of underwear. Hmm. Norman was pretty good at finding a shell. Do you think he's going to be able to find something for wings? <laughs> What's Norman using for wings? Underwear! That is silly. <laughs> Do you see the airplane that's flying behind them? Up in the sky. How many birds are there? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four birds. And that is the end of our silly story. You know what I like about Norman? Norman didn't just accept the fact that he didn't have something. He went out and he made it, or he found it. He made it work. He didn't give up and just slink away. That's one smart snail. I like this one. All right, so anyway, you ready for our book snap? All right, this book, it's not very big, and it's pretty floppy all the way around. So. Do you think it's going to make a quiet book snap or a loud book snap? Let's see. One, two, three. Book snap. Not very loud, right? All right, guys, thank you for joining me for story time. I love you very much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Mwah.